You are a meeting planner. You contract with hotels for a living. Many of those managers are wonderful people, especially the ones watching this video. But sometimes they can suggest services that may make you uncomfortable. All right, wow, you look like you could use a massage. Excuse me? Oh, misunderstanding. I'm just saying that uh, our hotel here has amazing spa facilities. So why don't you just sort of sign this little contract right about there while I make a little ringy dingy and get you a spa appointment, huh? That's very nice of you. Actually, I was hoping we could go over the details of the contract. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to, sure. I mean, it's just sort of, you know, standard legalese contract talk stuff. But uh, if you just want to sign right there, here's my pen. It's got our little logo on it there, and you can keep it. No? No. Okay. I was wondering, though, it says in here that it's mandatory I use in-house audiovisual services. That's not literally true, is it? Well, oh. literally. The answer they're looking for is no. Okay, let me ask you about the fees that are listed here, 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 and here. Those are extremely negotiable, right? Uh, I mean, how are you spelling negotiable? The word they're looking for here is yes. Question, it says that I would have to pay a $1,500 per day supervisor fee if I did bring my own AV services. What does that money pay for? Well, that's basically so that we can have a person in the room at all times to make sure that, you know, you're adhering to the procedures of the hotel. For instance, anything taped in the carpet has to be done with brown tape. Brown tape? Brown tape. Okay, well, I'm sure they'll have that. If not, we can provide that for $50 per roll. It's what we do. Wow. So there's a guy that's going to cost me three times what any of my technicians cost, but he's not actually going to help with load in or operations or load out. He's just going to be there to supervise and make sure we follow all the rules. Right. <laughs> and so he'll be in the room the whole time with us. Not necessarily. Okay, let me ask you about the internet. Ooh, good, because uh, we've got tons of internet here for your attendees. We've just put in a whole bunch of wireless internet repeaters phew, 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 all over the hotel, internet everywhere. I, I see that. Um, are you sure this is the right price? Uh, it's almost six times what we paid for the internet last year. Well, market prices in the Midwest might be a little different than what you're used to. May I ask where you were with this event last year? We were here. Uh, tell you what, if you use our in-house AV, we will discount the internet. Mm -hmm. Look, my AV vendor knows this event and my clients trust him. All right, well what if we waive the internet fee bye-bye, huh? You can do that? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you give us the AV business. <laughs> no. Okay. How about some breakouts? Good point. Let's talk about rigging. Now, you said that it's mandatory that I use your rigging vendor, but $400 per motor per day is pretty steep. Plus, you're charging me for each point per day. I mean, isn't the point a permanent structure in the facility? I mean, am I gonna have to pay for each sconce in the room if we turn the lights on in there? <laughs> <laughs> rigging is a science. science. It's very important for safety reasons to know exactly what you're doing. It would be too hard to go into detail about all the intricacies. Oh, so are you ETCP certified to rig? Um, no. I understand that I have to get a certificate of insurance uh, listing the venue as a additional insured. Um, and if the science of rigging is all about safety, safety. Uh, then who's liable if something does happen? Um. Uh, us. Oh, okay. So I should get a certificate of insurance from you then, listing me as the additional insured? Well, well, um... Now let me ask you about power. At our last event, power was a fraction of the cost, and in this contract, you're charging me for the actual amps, plus a labor fee for the connection, plus a service fee. Is there a reason why you would be more expensive than any other venue? Well, I think that has a lot to do with the cleanliness of our electricity. You see, um, our electricity never goes out, okay? I mean, our electricity is pure. It's pristine, like the white driven snow of electricity. 
Did you know that it's illegal to resell a utility? <sighs> okay, good point. Uh, you know, I don't think you're actually paying for the electricity. Uh, I think what you're uh, actually paying for is the uh, labor cost to do the connection of it. Oh, so you have a certified electrician to make the connection? No, one of our engineers can connect it for you. I think I'd prefer a certified electrician. My team can connect it for you. Is your team certified with electricity? No, but Corbett just gave us a bunch of meters. Most of our guys know how they work. Yeah, I mean, it's all meters these days. So, um, you know, we can just sort of drop that fee. Yeah, if we can just lower those fees if you want to. Right, just, I mean, uh, we'll just waive the fees if you just want to go ahead and sign right on the, right on the, just sign. Know your rights, meeting planners. Always use the best AV resources you can. Never allow the venue to penalize you for acting in your client's best interest. Say no to unfair fees. And when venue contracts make you uncomfortable, set them straight. Hello, my eyes are up here. Hey, there hey, you are. Oh, look, there's my pen. Did I tell you you could get a free spot? You did, and I'm gonna keep that. Okay. Thank you.